speedrunning a game can be difficult. Harder still when you're trying to collect everything in the game in record time. Super Mario Odyssey has hundreds of collectibles. Speedrunners who wanted to 100% the game had to figure out obvious things, like the best possible route, while also sussing out when it's safe to take a bathroom break. The current world record for Super Mario Odyssey's 100% speedrun category is 12 hours, 57 minutes, and 4 seconds by Okikurume. The requirements are steep. Players must collect 999 power moves, gather 40 different costumes, possess 52 enemies, and collect 1,000 purple coins. Figuring that out wasn't easy. Super Mario Odyssey tracks some items, but not all of them. The community came together and agreed to collect everything, even if the game doesn't acknowledge it in the counter. With that definition in place, runners could begin their attempts. 100% runs have two drawbacks, the brutal length and tracking so many collectibles. Miss one and it's nearly impossible to figure out what was forgotten. It was unexplored territory at the time, Kikarume told Kotaku via Discord. I just ran around for 22 hours. I hadn't even 100%ed casualty yet. Thankfully, Reuters broke the game down and started to path the fastest way through the game on a private Discord. 100% runs start by achieving what is called World Peace, or collecting every multi-moon in the game. The hard part comes after. Figuring out what you need to collect first and what you can pick up when you revisit levels takes a lot of planning. Runners and routers broke the game into pieces, and then put everything back together. Sometimes they'll skip a moon and come back for it later so they can grab everything all at once. They also need to collect tons of coins, which means repeating a bonus stage over and over. It can take 3-4 to four hours to get all the coins needed to unlock Mario's outfits and buy extra power moons. Most runners save that for last. There's also other challenges in the run. One of the biggest is a volleyball minigame. Mario must hit a volleyball 100 times in order to get power moves. If you miss once, you have to start over. Messing up this game means losing a large amount of time. Runners also take extra care to stock up on supplies to last the lengthy run. Having drinks, food, and anything else you may need beforehand is very important. One runner told us, They even plan the best time to go to the bathroom. Usually, it happens during cutscenes. Even then, Okikurume said that he still uses one hand to press the controller and advance cutscenes while he takes his break. Super Mario Odyssey 100% is still undergoing refinement as a small pool of runners work their way through the game and optimize the run with tricks and faster routes. As one router told us, The beauty of longer categories like 100% is that it keeps things fresh and there's always room for more optimization down the road.